West Michigan veterinarians reminding people to take precautions to protect their pet from the warm weather. The Whitecaps are hosting a dog night this evening, and Newsday's Kyle Mitchell is live at LMCU Ballpark with the best ways to keep pets cool. Kyle? Soon, Brian, dog day is just getting underway here at LMCU Ballpark. That game against the Dayton Dragons starts about a little over an hour from now. Now, vets say taking your dog out in the evening can help when it's cooler, um, but there are some precautions you need to take. A heat advisory across West Michigan this week hasn't gone unnoticed by Gianna Carter and her dog, Gypsy. Found the shade, found a good spot for her to chill out here. She took her dog to the park before the hottest temperatures of the day and was taking precautions to keep her safe. I got a travel water bowl in my car, and every once in a while we're going to go over there and fill it on up. She's only been out for probably like 15, 20 minutes so far. So She looks for signs of heat exhaustion and checks the temperature of where the dog is walking. Um, every once in a while, yeah, check in, doing a hand check on the pavement. I try to keep her more in the grass and the wood chips just uh, off the pavement, actually. Veterinarians at Blue Pearl Pet Hospital in Grand Rapids have been getting more calls asking about the heat. We really want to be mindful of the fact that um, when they're outside, they can overheat really easily. Dogs don't sweat like people do, and so they have to be able to pant and get some of that heat off. That Christine Swanson wants to remind people to be strategic about when you take your dog out and look for warning signs of heat stroke. It can be not just panting, but panting that they can't stop, um, where they're becoming really lethargic or very tired and not responding to you and getting up the way they usually would. Sometimes we can see vomiting. In the worst case scenario, those bright red um, lips and, and lining of their mouth can start to turn more purple and they're not um, getting oxygen to their tissues the way they really need to. You should also be careful getting to your destination with your furry friend. Just like when we worry about little kids stuck in a car, even on just a warm day, it doesn't take just a couple minutes before that car can heat up so much that they get overheated. Same thing for dogs, but especially in the severe heat that we're seeing. Other animals kept inside need to be properly attended to as well. Speaking about kitties as well, we want to be careful because although they may not be outside, we want to be cautious if we're not having air conditioning that um, they're able to have places to get out of the heat. And the game between the Whitecaps and the Dragons will get underway at about 6.30 tonight. Live in Comstock Park, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.